Hi, how's everybody doing out there? Hope everybody's doing just great. Um, so today's lesson plan that I have is going to be called a battleship plot. So it's going to introduce the method, right? The method of graph plotting to the game of Battleship. I don't know if you played Battleship before, but it's a cool interactive uh, game that involves just two players. And it's really competitive and it's really cool. So, so right away, um, I'm going to show you a quick introduction of how, what is graph plotting is. So graph plotting is consisted of like this graph right here. Um, this graph has four quadrants. So this one's quadrant one, this one's quadrant two, this one's quadrant three, this one's quadrant four, okay? So and it also includes a X axis and a Y axis. So you can see here, this is your X axis. Then this is your Y axis. So your X axis, right? So X axis is basically um, your horizontal tool line, okay? And your Y axis is your vertical. line okay so basically you can see here right um it goes your y is up and down right vertical and your x is your horizontal right here there's also something called the origin so you can see here this is your origin right here it lies within the middle so your origin right it's consisted of right this is how the origin um, plot is so it's actually your zero zero so what this means um where your x-axis and y axis intersect or they intersect right so where your x and y axis intersect that will be your origin and the the number for both right your x and y would be zero zero and that's what's called um the origin okay so basically um yeah so there's also another thing to note that each of the quadrants have a sign to it so, uh, so what that means is that from right of the origin on your x-axis, all these numbers you can see here, they're all positive. Then from going left of the origin, all your numbers you can see here, right? All your numbers have a negative symbol right in front of it. So they're negative. I don't know if you can see here, but right there, you see? It has a negative symbol like from left of the origin. And then for the y coordinates um anything above the origin they're all positive right you can see here there's no negative symbol in front of it and then from right down from the origin they're all negative you can see here that in front of it there's a negative symbol right so they have a sign to it so that means that each quadrant has a sign as well because you can see here that on on quadrant one right it's sign, right? You can see here that both its X and Y axes are both positive. So its sign is positive, positive. For quadrant two, its X axis is actually negative and its Y axis is actually positive. Because you can see here, they were all positive here and they're all negative here, right? Okay. For quadrant three, its sign is actually they're negative and negative because both X and Y axes are negative. And then for the quadrant four, um, their x-axis is positive and their y is negative. You can see here that all each quadrant have different sign uh, orientations, right? Like quadrant one is positive, positive. Quadrant three is negative, negative. But quadrant two is positive, um, negative, positive. While quadrant four is positive, negative. Because, right? So they interchange within each other, right? They don't have the same symbol orientation as all of them. Okay? So that's a quick introduction. So I'm gonna do a, like a quick little um, plot. So let's say that we're trying to plot um, negative two and four. So you first have to know what is your x and what is your y. This is your x, negative two. Your x always comes first, okay? Um, this portion, right? Right here, it always comes first, okay? And then, and then it's your y point, which is right here, which your y point is four. So negative two is your x, right? And four, is your y okay so let's go to the plot so let's do right let's do the x because mostly what you do is you always you always um go from the x and then to the y okay so the x portion right right here so it's negative two so how i set that um negative two right so if it's negative you go left from the origin so we have to go twice left so one two okay so we're already done with the x portion so we're gonna go to the y right here 
what's our y positive four right so it's positive so we go upward so we go upward four so one two three four so our point actually lies right here okay nice you see so that's where our point is so that's um that's how you plot within a graph um within a graph okay all right so let's get to the lesson plan um what we have here so all right so the materials needed um one you need a utensil pencil preferably because we're going to be uh, drawing graphs and everything on a right on our template so we, you might have to erase some stuff two templates because each of the templates is going to go to one of the players right each template is going to have um one quadrant of the graph okay we're going to have a ruler because we have to set up and it makes it easier to make the lines for the graph the real pamphlet so we know how to play this right and then how i mentioned before the two players that we need because you need two players for this game okay it's preparation so you need the writing utensil in your templates out right we're going to start by drawing the graphs on, on each template so each template right each paper you're going to have on uh, one graph okay because each of the two players need a template with a graph okay so what you do we have to do the 10 blocks okay so what's what we have first have to do what's easy is to do the outline of the square so let's do the let's do an outline of the square so you want to do when you do the paper is to do a square right like this and the, um with the ruler you can you have to go up to like six inches from each side so you do six inches and then right and then six inches so from length to width okay right with the ruler right so once you have your square outline um, you would have to do the 10 blocks. So we already have the line around. So all you have to do is um, do nine lines vertical and line di li uh, nine lines uh, horizontal. So uh, with the ruler, right, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know they're not evenly spaced, but try to uh, evenly space the lines out. Uh, okay. So then you do nines, um, right, vertical. So one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten i know i know it's really uh, messy but try to evenly space it out so this is just a quick little uh how to do it okay so you're gonna have like the 10 blocks so this is a pr nice perf uh, block right here so you're gonna have 10 blocks right going from right from left to right and up and down okay so within each 10 of those blocks you're gonna number them right so you know that your this is gonna be your y-axis right your y-axis goes up and down and your x-axis goes uh, left and right okay so you're gonna have you're gonna number each block by one through ten. So your first block is gonna be one and two, three, etc., right? To ten, right? On your x-axis, right? And then for your y, you're gonna number them. But um to number them, I prefer that you put them um that from the x, you'll put them down here, right? So one through ten, right? And then for the y, start from right here, one through ten, okay? Up to ten. All right. So that's a quick little um overview on how to do it. Um, try to evenly space out the lines, right, to make perfect um, little squares within the six six inch by six inch square. Okay, all right. So, so how do you play this? Okay, so the rule pamphlet. So it's basically a kind of traditional way of how you play um, Battleship. Um, you would you know, right. There's gonna be two players. So when you start, when you have, make sure that you have your templates ready with the graphs, right? The one through ten and one through ten blocks, right? Okay, so also what you have to do is um, you have to first um, know that um, each of the two um, basically players that are playing can't see their own um, each other's template because that's the whole point of um, playing this game, right? Because you're going to set up like your ships and like how you play Battleship, you have to set up like, your five ships like anywhere on the graph point, okay, on the graph so basically our ships are going to be five groups of circles right and these circles um range from like um one group which is uh, going to consist of two circles um these other two groups are going to be consist of three circles this other group is going to consist of four circles and this other group is going to consist of five circles right it might be a little bit confusing but i'm gonna have an example later on like once we finish the room pamphlet okay so once both players um have like um they set up their their right the groups um you can flip a coin or choose whoever goes first right because the person has to, some person has to go first to start the game okay so right so then um so then um the person goes right first would have to uh say a coordinate and that's a coordinate that they're gonna fire their shot okay so pretend that your those five groups of circles are like your ships okay 
So they're gonna fire a shot. So they have to say like for example like I'm gonna fire so I'm fire at coordinate seven and three. So what that means is that seven is your x and three is your y. So the so the person who's getting fired upon has to check um those seven and three. Um, does if it hits one of their circles, if it doesn't, then it will be a miss. But but you have to check. So you will go from your x axis. So you go right seven to the right, and then from your y axis you will go three up. So that block right that's um assigned to it right seven and three, um, that's where it gets shot at. So if you have a ship that lies or um what do you mean a uh, circle right because our ships are right a circles are our ships, um if there's a circle that lies on that. That means if it hits, um, if it lies on it, then that means it's a hit. So the person I would have to say back, um, uh, hit right to the other person. If it's not a hit, then it's a miss, right? So you have to say hit or miss, right? For um, if it depends on right, if it if it lands on one of the circles or it doesn't, okay, of your set, okay. So what happens is that the person who fired the shot has to keep track of um the hit coordinates or if they're missed because if the person can't say the coordinate twice because if you say the same coordinate twice and that um they lose their chance of actually um shooting at that uh at a coordinate that they haven't shot right and basically it's kind of like a loose situation um all right so once once um that person goes this turn right um knows if it's a hit or miss um then the other person right that hasn't fired right um, has to shoot um, the firing shot coordinate so you go back and forth um doing so okay so you go back and forth doing that um trying to fire in shots so the first person who who hits the other players um all their groups right all their ships um and sinks them right um is the winner right so the whole point is to um destroy all their all the five groups okay before the other person does okay so I know it's kind of like a lot of information, but it's basically the same thing as um the traditional battleship. If you haven't played it, um, it's fine. I'm gonna show you um a better example, um right after this. Okay, so the example I'm gonna show you. So all right, so let's say that we already have our right our quadrants, right? So this is how the quadrants should look from each template. So pretend that um this is one template right here, right? This is the second template. Right, so this is so we're gonna be like this is player, player one, and player two. Okay, all right. So basically, like that's our this is our square outline, right? So we did a six by six inch square outline, right? We we did our we did our ten blocks, right? Vertical and horizontal. So we have ten blocks, and we number each of the blocks. So it says here, um, we um did one through ten, right? From one through ten, right? The horizontal and one through ten right the vertical right and also this is the same thing as the other person has okay so basically this is your y okay and then this is your x this is x and this is y okay all right so you have to set it out so each player is gonna have their template right so this is their right so what they have to do is that they have to set the groups so we know that um you know that we have right one of two circles so let me um do this better so one right you're gonna have two then you have uh, one you have one okay right. so you're gonna have um right one of two circles like this two of three circles one of four Then one of five. Okay. All right. So it's gonna be consisted of, of five groups, right? See here, five groups. Okay. So five groups on on both ends. Okay. So what what each player has to do is that they have to arrange these groups however they want. Okay, around the quadrant, right? So pretend that player one, right? So let's say, um, so let me make this right. So player one would have would set up their coordinates like this. So they're gonna set up the first one like this, right? The two, so he's gonna connect it like this, okay? Then the other one, 
one right here, one, two, three, four, five. So the one with that's five, he set it up right here. Like that. Right? He set up the, the one of three right here. Then one of three right here. Then the one of four. One, two, three, four. Right? So you have to connect these dots, all right, to make sure that they're together. Because sometimes um, some people will put them so close to each other that you don't know which one's which. Okay, so once you do the dots, connect them with the line, okay? So they're the circles, right? The dots are circles, however you want to say. Okay, so the player one set it up like this. So let's say that player two sets up there's like this, okay? So he puts a two right here. Then he puts a three right here. One, two, three. Right? Set up as randomly as you want it to be, like spread out better. Then one, two, three, four, five. And say that he wants to put a three one right here, right? One, two, three. So you see how I have to connect these lines to make sure, right, that the groups are coordinated to each other or else if we don't put the line, it can be easily mixed up as this one can be like a four right here and this can be a two and a two. So yeah, that's why that's why the lines are there for, right? then the four one so one two three four okay all right so they set up their groups however they want it all right so that's how they set it so how you start is that let's say that player one goes first okay so player one right he's gonna say um fire at coordinate right one and nine okay so the player two would be like, all right, all right, all right. So let's see if he says that, right? So he said one, so one right here, right? And nine, so nine vertical. So it lies right here, right? So, right, so he, he wanted to hit right here. So that's a miss, right? So that's what he's saying right there. So he's like, oh, he didn't hit one of the, of the circles. So that's a miss. So it's like a miss. All right, so player one, can put the coordinates on his like on on the side right here like all the coordinates that he says to keep track of it and he can put like oh that one's a miss or what he can do um as well he could probably also like note it right here on the graph like a little like sh you can shade his block it just depends on however you want to track it but make sure to track the coordinates that you said because um that would pick um be a better way because if you say the same coordinate twice the other player can still say miss and be like oh well he doesn't know he said it twice, but I'll let that one uh, fly by, right? All right. So let's say, um, all right, so right player one said that. So now it's player's two turn. So player two would say, let's say he says um, randomly, he says fire at two and two. Okay, so the, the other person be like, all right, so let me check. So two, right? So it goes two up and two. So he actually hits one of the circles, right? So he's like, hit. So player one has to do this. So if it's a hit on one his end, he has to do this, okay? Right? And he has to say if it's a hit, right? Because it hit one of his circles, so it's a hit. So player two puts a uh, X right there. And what player um, player one has to put an X. Uh, player two would have to say, um, he would have to have it some way written down that he said 2-2 two, two and be like, all right, so that one was a hit. Or he can put it on his end, right? And like... On his, on his end and shade it like a different color or sh or put an x to it i mean whatever he wants just to keep track of it that that was a hit because if he knows that's a hit that means that he can go he can go either one up one to the right one to the left or one down right to hit another dot because he knows that um they're connected right so he, he it can only go up down right or left so that's kind of like um it's just strategic way to know on how to like where to shoot or fire at when it's his turn so then now once once it's done now it's player one's turn so um you have to say another corner let's say he says uh three ten right so player two let's say all right three then ten all right nothing so it says miss all right so that's a miss so he's like all right so that one was a miss all right and then now it's player's two turn then he will say uh right two three so right so then player one checks and be like all right two three oh that's actually hit and he actually hit all the dots that were connected so that's a, a sunk so he's like sunk so hit and then he says sunk 
And like, oh, okay, so I actually sunk one. So that's so he the player one needs to know he has to let the, so one player has to let the other player know that if he sunk the ship, that's one thing that they have to say as well. So at his end, he can say hit, and it needs to be like or noted down as so like oh that was a sunk. So both coordinates sunk already. So from his end, he could be like all right. So let me shade these two, and he knows that he sunk a two dot one, which is one of the groups, right? He sunk the two dots. So now what's left is the the four, the three, the three, and the five. All right, all right. So you go back and forth and such like this until on uh, one player's right sunk every single ship once the other player sunk has sunk the other person's ship um win so let's say that the player two sunk all his ships he said all the coordinates and he has it written down and noted and be like oh so that's and then player one knows that he already sunk all the ship he'd be like at then he'll be say like oh sunk um all right so he's you sunk all my ships um all right so that means that player two uh wins so player two is the winner because he sunk all the ships, bef uh, all of the other player's ships before he sunk his. So yeah, so that's a quick little um, re uh, review on how to play the game. Um, you can also, um, if this wasn't a really great um, explanation on how to play it, um, it's the same way how you play Battleship, the traditional game. But in this case, we're, um, we're doing graphs. So, and we're doing blocks and we're actually making our own like plots and everything in our own ships with like dots. So you don't really need to go buy the board game. And and this is a great way to um, involve numbers and plotting so that he can um, experience a little bit of math and like, right, and practice with it, right? That's because I know that in sixth grade, um, that's where they introduce a lot of the uh, graphing and such, right? And seventh grade and eighth grade, that's where you, they start introducing um, the whole like graph plotting method. Um, yeah, so this is a quick and little interview of how to play this um, nice um, game of um, Battleship Plot. All right, so thank you.